Hi, I'm Val, I'm here at Lister Park for this Yorkshire CND event and I'm delighted to be here and I'm delighted to be talking to Sylvia. I'm from Keithley and I'm too I'm here for this CND event um, to show our belief in that we don't need any more new nuclear weapons or any more money spending on nuclear weapons. So why do, why do you think it's important that this treaty is signed? I think it's extremely important for lots of reasons. It was actually signed in 2017, so time is going on. Um, and for lots of reasons that it was drawn up by the majority nation states of the United Nations. And I just feel so strongly that at the moment, particularly, it seems that Britain has so much to apologise for. And here we are keeping on to, not only holding on to nuclear weapons, but meaning to uh, make more of them. We've just announced an increase in the nuclear warheads and spend more on developing new submarines. So if you could give a message to Bradford Council and the leaders of Bradford Council, what, what would you say to them? We believe in an equal world and for the good of the future for our children as well as other children all over the world. They should use their influence as a local authority to contact the government and support the thing, they support the treaty and they want the government to work towards the signing of it. Simple as that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Speaking with Molly Somerville. Hi Molly, nice Hello. to see you. Hi, Have you come far this evening? I've come all of 500 metres. Oh right, probably. okay. And, yeah, and what, what's brought you here? Well, I've come here because of um, an event that CND, Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament, have arranged for tonight. And behind me is a lake and all the way around the lake there are going to be lights and the theme of this evening is light in the darkness and it's because in January a lot of countries decided that nuclear weapons should be illegal so it's a step on the way for getting rid of nuclear weapons so it's something to celebrate So why do, why do you think it's important that it's signed? Well it's so important because now when we campaign we've got an extra thing to say which is do you realize in our country our country is going against international law and if it were about something else and another country broke international law people would be up in arms we, we, we really would condemn other countries that do things you know like human rights abuses and things we say oh we shouldn't be doing that shouldn't be doing that well we should not be having nuclear weapons is there anything else you want to say, Molly? No, except to say I hope everybody who comes this evening will enjoy the event. David Somerville, who's a member of Bradford C&D Group, and we're here to celebrate the fact that there is now the TPNW, the Treaty for the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, has come into force. It came into force on the 22nd of January this year, and we were going to celebrate then because of, because of COVID regulations, We've delayed it to this day, which is the National Day, St George's Day. So why do you think it's important, this treaty? Because it's, we see it as something like the treaty that was stopping the use of poisonous gases, uh, the, the kind of re restriction that is necessary if the world is going to have a future. Unfortunately, the UK government has decided it's going to increase the nuclear arsenal by 40%. At least that's the latest government projections. If you could give a message to the town council, to Bradford Council and the leader of the council, what would that message be? I would say to the leader of the council that, like other local authorities like Leeds and Manchester, perhaps you could give the support to this treaty. We're getting local authorities all over the country to support it because we see this is one way in which the government will start to take notice when every local government tells them what they should already be doing. Excellent. And what's happening tonight? Well, we're going to have a procession around the lake in Lister Park and we're also going to be able to look at the C&D symbol which is just below Cartwright Hall. But we're being very careful to distance so that people can pass 
and be safe distance from each other because there's still some restrictions on exactly what we should be doing with the virus still very much around this area. Uh, Matt from uh, Yorkshire CND. So raising it locally, what message would you give to ask people to give to the leader of Bradford Council and to the councillors? Well, I think, um, especially in the nuclear states like the UK, um, the role of cities is really important um, because we've not had debate in Parliament about this. The, the uh, decision to hugely increase and spend, you know, tens of billions more of taxpayers' money won't be debated in Parliament. Um, but it will have an effect on on local people throughout the country. So I think it's important that um, that that towns and cities raise raise their voices really about that. And we've seen hundreds of towns and cities across the world, um, you know, from uh, Washington DC to Berlin to Toronto, who've all signed up calling on their governments to uh, back this treaty. So, and we had hoped Bradford was going to be the first in Yorkshire to do it, and sadly Leeds has picked them to the post. Um, but we're very hopeful that, um, that, that Bradford City Council won't be too far behind. So let's hope they're not too far behind. Absolutely. Thank you, Matt. Thank you very much. send a message to the world that nuclear arms are not a sensible option and we're all here to in solidarity with the Orchard CND. Taking a walk in the darkness and the contemplating the state of the world and how we can make it a better place. We're getting local authorities all over the country to support it because we see it as necessary if the world is going to have a future. And I just feel so strongly that at the moment, particularly, it seems that Britain has so much to apologise for. 